Oh, there's not welcome back to the shop. None of that fair weather riding pussy shit for me. Mark, welcome back to the shop and today it's nothing to do with all this this is if you haven't seen it all yet if you're not on my Facebook then you won't have seen this yet um, I'm nearly finished with the bits that I need to make to show you all sorts of stuff so you've got a head here an overhead cam head with a straight runner and stuff it's not any engine in particular it's just like a generic meh, very simple stuff and we're also going to add the cylinder and the piston and then the cylinder and the piston and the cylinders and pistons that I'm making in this kind of format will allow me to show you stuff in quite simplistic terms it's like crayons um, you know because um, the pens I've thrown them all away <laughs> the pens as we know are shit you know what I mean even when they are new they're not that clear and be it the light in here be how far away you are I could focus in maybe I'm going to fuck around so you might see some videos where we focus in a bit more and so on. Actually, I'll do that now so you can see these a bit clearer because I need to see this as well. So, we'll try that. What's that like? Yeah, you see, so that's a bit better. I've got to adjust the height a bit, maybe just move it up a tad so you can see my ugly fucking muggings. But you can see it a bit clearer and I'll be able to, you know, draw on here. Let's see if I can move it without wrecking it. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I can't. <laughs> Any road. Um, so, as you can see, yeah, people have been asking a lot of questions about is the Desmo stuff, is all this going to work? Let me just zoom you back out so it's back to normal because that was a failed experiment. Any road. Um, some of you might have clicked onto this video because you saw the. What the fuck is that? You saw the infamous Dell Boy's name in the title. I don't know what that is. Um, and people have asked me, do I watch Del Boy? Have I watched Del Boy? Have I seen Del Boy? Yes, I have. People say, what do you, you know, do you like his channel? Stuff like that. Um, and generally, most of the time, I kind of avoid that question. Why am I avoiding that question? Because this is hard work, to a degree. Uh, it's fun for me, is this, you know, but channel making... You know, without whinging, I'm going, oh, fucking hell, you poor little butterfly. It takes effort. And most of it, unfortunately, is not me yabbing on or other people. It's not actually doing it. It's all the bullshit, you know, the post-production editing, all that rubbish. It takes time. And it is boring. It's boring when you have to watch yourself talk about shit that you've already just done fucking half an hour ago or two days ago or whatever. Sometimes it can be fun, don't get me wrong. But, um, so, you know, I don't like to point fingers so much at people who are putting the effort in however <laughs> we all know this is coming um, I don't like Del Boy's stuff for the simple fact is it's when he started moving and moving over and doing stuff like the quick tips were fine you know use a screwdriver for this do this tighten this he does draw out for ages about one particular tip like I'm sure he's on about getting oil filters off and instead of actually showing you anything he just talked about how much you should tighten them and getting them off for a good fucking 16 minutes and we're like I'll cover that in a video and it'll be like this is how, how tight you do it you don't need to go any further than that this is the o-ring get an oil drop it in your oil <laughs> drop it in your own oil or whatever and then that's it now people might say to me oh yeah but Matt you know there are when you're doing some of these board videos you do go on and on and on and th there's a reason to a certain degree there's things that I will skip over, like I'll turn around and say stuff like, so we've got the Desmo system and all the rest of it, and it's basically got a double collet design which needs this extra little ring that sits in your collet, and really it's the bottom one that is there to catch the fork of this bottom arm than it is the top one to push down. And then that's it, I'll skip over that. Usually when I repeat myself, it's usually in a rant when I get right wound up because it's my passion behind that particular subject. 
But number two is also is because in the past I've said just that, like the Desmond, and someone goes oh, me, 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 for fucking ages, and then it ends up having to become another video. So I have to push home the point sometimes that look, and I have to say it in three different ways for people to fucking understand. Because I kind of, now I've got, you know, I've done a lot of videos now, nearly 600. I've got quite um, attuned to what people are going to nitpick, what people are not going to understand, what people are going to pick on. You know, 600 videos in nearly, and, you know, hundreds, not hundreds, thousands of comments. You know, thousands, I was going to say hundreds of thousands, fuck off. <laughs> thousands of comments, maybe nearly even 10,000, I don't fucking know, it is ridiculous. I can't actually find out, so we'll actually find out how many comments there are, I think I can find out how many comments there are. Any road. So, get to it, you see I'm rambling on again because that's just the way I do stuff. And it's the way you do stuff and that's fine, you know, we each have tastes and all the rest of it. You know, I drew the line as soon as he started getting fucking half pearl shaped plastic pearls and gluing them on a motorbike and spraying them. One, it looks shit. Number two, that's my opinion. Number two is, what is this? Fucking Neil Buchanan's fucking craft hour. You know what I mean? It just, it just stunk to me. It was, yeah, all right, you know, you're using whatever, but it was it, using knick-knack bits off eBay to get an effect to make something look good can be creative. When it looks shit, it's just all a complete waste of time. But each to their own and all that. Del Boy is one of them guys who is, um, what's the word? He's one of them biker biker guys. The guys that I don't really like that much. You know, it, it uh, yeah, just, it has to be everything. They're usually grubby is the word that my, my dad used to use. And, you know, it's like when we used to go to Santa Pod and all the rest of it. People go to bike rallies all the time. Live and breathe there. Their entire life is revolved around their two weeks holiday is to go to the Isle of Man. Which is fine. Every fucking year. It's, yeah. Them real, real bikers. Biker, bikers. You know, with the guts and all the rest of it. Not that I'm a skinny bastard myself. Any road. This, why is this video around? Still, I haven't got to it. Why is this fucking video around? even exist. It's because um, I've been doing videos recently on the Evans coolant. People have said that uh, Del Boy is uh, an Evans arse licker, which is fine, you know, that's up to him and all the rest of it. Is he a fool for thinking that it works? Yes, of course he is. Um, but someone sent him a message, someone who subscribed to Del Boy sent him a message and it was the way that Del Boy reacted. And I know that this isn't the first time that he's ever reacted like this. And my problem with this whole thing is that he has, he deletes them or he puts them in the fucking, um, oh, what do you call it now? Uh, oh, junk folder, you know, the fucking scam folder, the bloody, what is it? Um, crap folder, you know, he puts it in that so other people can't see it. And it's a bit like Jake the Garden Todger. It's a bit like, you know, and... I will openly argue, you know, Mr. Me Re Mr. Rex Quando, um, Dan, you know, people like that, I will fucking argue with you. Even Steve from the MD from Evans, I will argue with you and I will argue, argue, blah, 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 blah. I will argue with you. And if you disagree, I will fucking pin that comment. Nine times out of ten, I will pin that comment to the top so everyone gets to see it. It's the... I don't want to go around saying, I'm transparent as fuck or anything stupid like that, but I do kind of... I do agree with, the, you know, the whole argument thing. You know, yeah, I band around and call people cunts, twats, dickheads, pussies, all the rest of it, stop being a fanny, you know. But that's me, that's me personally. When we're talking about a channel, which it is its own entity, I believe that if someone has a, you know, if someone puts forward an argument saying that this is crap, and then they give a reason why it's crap, if they just say, it's shit, I'm like, right, all right, I, you know, why is it shit? And then I don't use it here. Oh, because of... Well, quite some because you don't know anything about two strokes. You've obviously never had a two stroke. It's a bit childish. When people say, "Well, actually, this Desmo system, blah blah blah, it does this because of this and this and this," and I'll say, "Oh, I disagree." You know, no, you're fucking done. What are you talking about? Blah 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 blah. And then there's a battle of wits. Deleting and hiding comments, and then coming up with trap, trap, which you'll see in a second. To me, people need to see this. So, because I put my dirty laundry 
at the top of comments and because Del Boy doesn't, fuck it, I'm going to do it for him. So, and you know, this is the thing, I've got what, s nearly 17,000 subscribers right now, Del Boy's got 70,000, right? So what's that? That's uh, 2 to 7, or oh, 1 to 3.5. You know what I mean? He is literally a hell of a lot bigger channel than me. So this isn't bullying. This isn't any of that wank. Let's just fucking go for it. So th this guy says, so it seems Del Boy's garage is not quite... Del Boy's garage, uh, Moonfleet 41, is not quite the person I thought he was. He's always, seemed quite, uh, he's always seemed quite an honest, genuine and open chap. Until you post a comment on one of his videos that he is making money on. He relies on. He replies to my comment, so I could read it, and then blocked me, marked it as spam, so no one else could see my original comment and his reply. Here is my comment and replies. So this guy, he, <laughs> I'm not going to mention his name. You could probably find it out if you really wanted to. But um, you know, I'm not going to start name dropping and all the rest of it. But this guy, the comment he puts, and I'm just going to say it now. I'm proper on his side with this. He's, he's polite, he's not pointing fingers, he's not calling anyone names, he's not doing anything. So he, this is his comment on one of Del Boy's videos. Matt at the workshop has done some videos recently discussing what many people already knew. This being that Evans coolant is a scam. Hence, no one needs it and good old 50-50 mix is always the way forward. For someone who is clearly very clever, I'm shocked you did not do your own research to find out the main ingredient in Evans, and that just how inefficient it is at actually absorbing heat. Some Google searches uh, discuss all of this. Bef uh, no, some Google searches discuss all of this before Matt's video. Evans is 99% propylene glycol, which is just cheap, safe antifreeze. I suggest googling what specific heat is and how 100% propylene glycol compared to 100% water. You will then see why you need a compromise of a normal 50-50 mix. You will then already uh, understand why Evans propylene glycol runs hotter due to it being such a poor coolant. The increased boiling point that Evan propylene glycol in brackets gives makes this even worse as it allows the engine to run hotter and hotter should the coolant system be inadequate. As with all things, people should not blindly believe the marketing hype and do some basic research. I hope you will do the right thing, Dell, and take this video down and do a follow-up once you have done your own research. So, he's basically just saying, I did this video. He doesn't even link the video. Um, but he's, it sounds like he's talking from a bit of his, well, his own research and you know, off the back of some of my videos. He's obviously watched my videos, he obviously has done his own research on specific heat and why manufacturers say that you should have 50-50 and he understands that Evans is pretty much propylene glycol or a glycol. For it to be non-toxic it has to be basically propylene unless they're adding some kind of additive to ethylene glycol that makes it non-toxic. Now if there is such a a chemical that does that surely this would have been discovered a long time ago and surely the manufacturers that use ethylene glycol still wouldn't be adding bittering agents they'd be adding that magic chemical to make it non-toxic i don't believe that exists i think that the when uh evans say that they've it's only 20 percent propylene glycol i think they're fucking lying because otherwise um it's not on the msds sheet which means that it's non-toxic which means that it can um it pass food standard agency um, regulations because if it, basically if it's food safe or pharmaceutical safe generally I don't know if it's food safe you don't have to put on an MSDS sheet stuff like that and it's obviously the majority of what Evans is but I'm going with propylene glycol we've done the heat experiment it basically performed exactly the same any road so you know and then he asks he says to Dell uh, I hope you should do the right thing and take your video down now that is up to Dell you know he can do what he wants he can do a follow up video blah 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 but he is asking, he says, I really hope. The guy's been really polite. It's a, a, a well thought out, you know, his, his um, grammar is fine, you know, his, his sentences are broken up really nice, his paragraphing, all the rest. It's not like Dell didn't fucking read this or whatever, or he would sort of see. So Dell Boy seems, first of all, it's clear you have an appalling. <laughs> are you ready? First of all, it's clear you have an appallingly arrogant attitude. Where the 
fucking hell did you get that from? So I'm not going to engage with you, my friend. I don't think he's your fucking friend. Other than to say, uh, have you shared your superior knowledge with Evans? Why do people say this? It's almost like there's a line that Evans has to say this. It's like, think about it like this. It's 100, 200 years ago, and the, most of the world, or most of this country, let's say this country, most of this country was um, Church of England, Christian. You know, Christian, sects of fucking Protestant, Catholic, whatever. It doesn't matter, they're all fucking Christians. And just say back in the day when we were even all just Catholics, right? If you disagreed with Catholicism, you didn't then have to go to the Pope for him to put you straight. If you did, <laughs> that was generally brainwashing, right? So I don't know why people seem to have this thing that if I have a problem with Evans and I do my own research, that Evans, I have to go to them. Why is that, you know, have you sh shared your superior knowledge with Evans? It's not superior knowledge, it's basic fucking chemistry. I imagine not, he says. I will not be taking this video down because I understand more about coolant, especially Evans coolant, than you do. Well, that's a fucking arrogant thing to say. How do you know that this guy who hasn't replied is a fucking chemist? How do you know that he's... <laughs> you know, there's a guy who... Um, uh, there's a guy who... Uh, I think... Is it Mike or is it Dave? I can never remember. Because I read so many bloody comments. There's a guy, basically, one of the two. <laughs> um, I think it's Dave, who, you know, used to work in the... Um, oil industry or something very similar and his knowledge of um, petroleum based chemistry and stuff like that is fucking outstanding shit he teaches me shit all the time he even told me what the probable uh, red colour what the probable um, chemical is that causes the red colour in the Evans stuff it's you know it went, blew my fucking mind how do you know that the guy you're not talking to is not that kind of guy you know because he, he doesn't say Anything he's, say, he's saying to Del Boy, if you look, if you look up specific heat, if you look up propylene glycol graphs, if you look up these things, then you will see that it's this. To say that, just to say to someone outright, when they've been polite to you, to one say that the arrogant, appallingly arrogant attitude, to two to then say to them that they don't know what the fucking hell they're on about, and number two is uh, number three, <laughs> number three. A fucking Del Boy to say that he knows more about something that when he doesn't know the guy, it's just fucking rubbish. Uh, how do you know? You might, but how do you know? That's the thing. You know, I understand, because uh, I understand more about coolant, especially Evans coolant, than you do. He probably won't see this reply due to the lack of blocking me, marking me as spam. But this guy replies after this. He says, Del Boy, my friend, I have given you enough information to show you that I do have an understanding of how coolant works. This is very basic stuff, and all the information is there on the internet to see. I find you appallingly arrogant in that after someone... Uh, I find you appallingly arrogant in that after someone has highlighted an issue with the products you advertise and support, that you won't go and do your own basic research to find out if what I am saying and others have also said is all true. This is a shame, uh, this is a shame as you appear to genuinely care and want to encourage, uh, engage with your subscribers, as I don't think for a single minute you would genuinely want to see them ripped off or deceived. Surely if you were made aware and found out that your own uh, from your own research that this product was not what it seemed, you would want to address it, especially as lots of people have parted their hard-earned money based on your reputation and videos. This is worth more than any sponsorship money you are receiving from Evans. Question mark. So he's basically saying, you know, surely your fucking subscribers and all the rest of it and your reputation is worth more than this fucking whatever you might be getting from Evans. If you are getting anything, that's why he's put a question mark. So yeah, you know, I'm, people, I'm kind of getting this hook for just fucking being the cowboy running around shooting bad guys or whatever. Um, it's not, it's not like that. It's just that, you know, when people people say to me all the time, you know, um, clutchless shifting, we're going to go into even more. And I've got an awesome demo that I've got an awesome example that someone's uh, sent me. Just food for thought. It isn't absolutely definitive results. Trying to get definitive results on clutchless shifting 
is uh, an extremely hard thing to do because it's over the life, or it can be, you know, it's within that lifespan of a motorcycle. Um, you know, what happens if I use, pre people ask me all the time, what happens if I use normal, you know, gasoline or premium stuff? What effect does that have on my engine? Holy shit, again, you'd have to have 10 bikes all running, you know, in real world applications. So on the road, you'd have to make sure everything's fucking certified. You have to make sure everything's checkable. All the tanks are sealed so nothing could be cross contaminated or whatever. And blah, 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 blah. It'd cost an awful lot of money. You know what I mean? To actually do a test that people go, there you go. You know what I mean? Statistically, the minimum you need is 10. Um, you know, and it's the same with a lot of things. So I try and show you things. Um, in the basic way, you know, when I did the Evans experiment, is that a representative experiment? Of course, it's not because it's not in a bike, in an engine, in a radiator, this, that, and the other. However, I can show you the basic um, how they come out with these numbers. When you go on Wikipedia or something like that, and chemistry uh, websites where they have a list of all these numbers, I can show you how they test them and show you the difference between one coolant and another. You know, there was two videos where I did the experiments. One was showing you. Um, how much water can absorb energy before it starts to heat up itself? That was the first one. The second one was 50 50 mix versus glycol uh, versus Evans, um, basically heat dumping, you know, dumping their heat into that aluminium block. And the, the 50 50 mix was even better than that because water has a better thermal conductivity than glycols do. You know what I mean? What else do you need to know? It absorbs more heat, so when the water is in the water jacket next to your engine for a brief period of time because it's flowing through. You know what I mean? Because of your water pump, um, when you're up to high temperatures and all this, it, people, someone was saying that your thermostat closes, stops, picks up heat, opens, flows, stops, closes, opens. No, it fucking doesn't. If that was the case, then your thermostat would break pretty quickly. It'd be constantly, it'd be like a valve constantly shutting all the time. And they are not that robust. When you look at your bike, especially if it's got a digital indicator, you'll get up to, you know, fucking 60, 80 degrees, something like that, your thermostat pops, and if I'm ragging around like a fucking idiot for a couple of hours on a long journey, it'll stay in the 90s, you know, for the 90s, 100, you know, for a long time throughout that journey, you know what I mean, that's what it's reading out, so that thermostat is just fucking cranked open. So your water is in your cylinder, you know, is in your cylinder and your cylinder head um, for a brief amount of time, and the cooler the water is, the um, the more uh, the, the the quicker the transfer of heat. That's the best way to think about it. The uh, greater the heat transfer of heat, the transfer of energy. And if your water is cooler, that differential, the difference between the two, it, you know, it's common sense. If you want to cool down, what you, you want to cool down a bathtub, you chuck ice cubes in. You don't chuck water in. You don't chuck lukewarm water in, and you definitely don't chuck water, you know warm hot water in. That would defeat the whole purpose. If you want to cool something down quickly, you use the coolest thing you can get. So your water can absorb more of that heat um, while it's there. And then when it gets to the radiator, because it's got better thermal conductivity, it can then dump that heat into the radiator. It can transfer that to the radiator, and the radiator can actually conduct it away, like I said before, not radiate it, radiate it away. And then your coolant, because your coolant, because it's 50/50 water, 50/50, you know, it is going to then circulate back. It's got a, a specific heat capacity because it can soak up more heat. It's basically how which one is cooler, you know, which one can remain cooler, which one can transfer heat away so it, you know, drops its temperature quickly. And water is the best at it. However, water has issues. It will corrode your engine quicker if it isn't a 50/50 mix and water boils at 100 degrees so you'll get vapor pressure which will pop your cap like i said all these things i can disagree with evans on you know water does boil at 100 i'm not saying it doesn't and water will corrode your engine a slight bit quicker if it's just pure water however 50 50 mix suits everything it's perfect because it goes down to minus 40 which is well below which is what it's for it's called antifreeze for a reason because the real problem you see it's not called antifreeze, anti boil over. It's called antifreeze and it's only called antifreeze for one simple reason. The big problem we have with water is the freezing side of it, not the hot side of it. We sorted that by putting a pressure cap on the entire system. You know what I mean? Are there certain scenarios where cavitation happens and this, that, and the other? Yes, but then saying that Evans basically half the time doesn't cavitate 
for the simple fact is yes one it's not boiling but number two is and that's if you do have you know vents in your system or basically a void for the water to vent into um the other thing is is evans um you know it it, 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 it it doesn't cavitate as much probably because it's more it's thicker it's more viscous and your pump now has to try harder to push it evans runs hotter because it's specific heat isn't as good evans runs hotter because it's thermal conductivity isn't as good so evan makes your engine run hotter which means that your engine is more likely to overheat not only that is as i've said before in my last video the biggest problem i've got is it says it stops overheating which is complete fucking codswallop and trap Regardless, without me going off on some tangent or some rant or whatever, it all comes down to why why be a prick about it? You know, this... I take the piss out of people, you know what I mean? And they throw it back. But this guy has been genuinely nice and he is asking you a question. And this is the thing. I'm an arsehole, right? And Del Boy is probably, if he does reply to this fucking video, I'm a fucking cunt. I'll admit to you right now. Of course I am people dickheads all the time it's like a hobby for me it's like a sport you come across and like this guy said you come across as this nice guy and really you've been a cock really you've been a sly cunt really by hiding stuff as well i can't stand sly cunts and that's why there's this video about you you know what i mean um it's as simple as that and people have said to me before oh don't fucking don't wind up jake the giant todger or don't, you know, don't wind up Dell, it's like, fuck them, what are you going to do? Come round and shank me, fucking bring it on. You know, what are you going to do? I'm a smaller channel, you're a bigger channel. If you stop spouting shit, then people won't make videos like this. You know, and don't even get, there will be a video, it's coming. Um, there's a video about him teaching people how to fucking um, harden, <laughs> harden screwdriver tips. Not a good idea, we'll go into that later. It's uh, more dangerous than anything because you're probably going to poke your fucking eye out. Any road, that's the end of this little rant. Thanks for the dude who actually sent me this message. He actually posted it as a comment on one of my videos. Thank you so much because, you know, you could have just said, oh, what an asshole, and then just left it there. Instead, I'm pointing the, the you know, the magical shit finger of, uh, of blame at you, Del. It's as simple as that. Stop being a dickhead. Why? You know what I mean? Because if you don't stop being a dickhead, I'll just keep on making videos and it, your name will keep on coming up and more and more people will see this. And if there's one thing, if people have got stupid little silly, silly little fucking plastic crayon drawings like this, you know, what is this? Fucking primary school? You know, what is this? And these silly little drawings, Matt, you've got a fucking stupid head and you like you got Down syndrome. You know, and your stupid little twatty toolbox. You can say whatever you fucking want to me. People love honesty. They just fucking do. You know what I mean? They love honesty. Don't be a fucking prick. And that's all I've got to say about it. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in a bit.